Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Jake and thank you for joining me again on Exploit Academy. In this video, we're going to look at the remote code execution vulnerability found in dist CC version one. Now dist CC, which also stands for distributed C compiler, was a Linux program written back in 2004 to 2006. Now what the software did was instead of compiling a program on one machine, it took that compilation process and spread it out among multiple machines on a network to take benefit of the extra hardware that's sitting around on your network. So instead of just compiling on one computer, you're compiling on like 15, 20 computers or however many computers you have on a network. Well, that sounds good in theory. However, the vulnerability comes about because it allows remote attackers to execute arbitrary commands via compilation jobs which are executed by the server without authorization checks. So I'm going to show you how to replicate this command both manually and using the Metasploit module as well. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so I'm back inside of VMware Workstation. I have uh, one tab for Kali Linux and one tab for Metasploitable 2, which is running in the background. So for the manual exploitation method example, you're going to need to navigate over to this URL here to download the script. So this is a script written by DarkCoderSC. Thank you very much for that. It's a really good script, but we're gonna need to copy this URL and bring this over to our terminal. And I'm going to CD into the desktop real quick. Yeah, okay. So I'm going to run git clone and paste that URL here and press enter. So this will download a folder called this. So if I type in ls, we can see that folder. So I'm going to navigate into that. Let's change directory to 4db, press tab. And there we go. So we can see our Python script here. So before we run this, we need to look at the example it has inside the script itself. So I'm gonna open up the file explorer and navigate over to that folder with the Python script. And I'm gonna right click that script and open with mouse pad. Okay, so you should see something like this. Now you can see at the top of the script, it has a comment block and the first thing we have to do is actually create a netcat listener. So like with most remote code execution vulnerabilities, you need to have a listener to accept the command coming back. So we're going to be running this command here. So tax C for command, and we're going to be running this command on the target machine. What this does is it executes a shell to connect back to our Kali Linux box on port 1403. So that is exactly how this uh, script works. So the first thing we have to do is create that listener. So I'm gonna open up another shell and I'm gonna create the netcat listener on port 1403 and press enter. So there we go, we're listening on port 1403. I'm just going to minimize that for now because we will be returning to that in a second. Okay, so now to run the actual script itself. So let's open up another shell zoom in here all right so i'm gonna navigate over to the script oh cd desktop ah oh, i did it again <laughs> all right and there we go okay so now we can see our script we can run it so this is written in python 2 so to execute the script we need to type in python 2 the name of the script. So if you type in DIS, press tab, it'll auto complete that for you. And then what I suggest for you to do is just copy the command from this point on here. So tack T all the way down to the end of the script. Select copy, go back into our terminal and just hit control shift V. So that will paste that. So you should see something like this, Python two, the name of the script, and then our script options ending with the command that we're running on the target machine. So for our target, we're going to need the Metasploitable address, the IP address. So if I open up Metasploitable, type in IP A. 
you can see our IP address is 10.0.0.89. So back to Kali Linux, I'm gonna change this to be for our target. I'm gonna change that to be 10.0.0.89. We're gonna keep the port the same. And for the command, we're gonna need to change this IP address here because that's not our Kali Linux IP address. So I'm gonna open up a terminal I'm gonna run the same command, it's IPA. And you can see we have an IP address of 10.0.0.60. Great. So we need to change this to be 10.0.0.60. All right, so let's check out this command before we run it. We got Python 2, the name of our script, tag T for target, 10.0.0.89, which is fed exploitables. IP address, tac p for port, and tac c for command. So that's netcat to open up a shell on port 1403 to connect to our Kali box. All right, looks good. So I'm gonna go ahead and press enter. All right, let's see. All right, so this is socket timeout. Let's double check to see if we got a shell or not. Okay, so we still got a shell. Um, sometimes, It'll fail like that, but you still get a shell. <laughs> so it's always worth checking. All right, so we're connected to our Metasploitable box here. You can see that 10.0.0.89. If I type in uh, ls, there we go. We can see the directory. If I type in who am I, we are the, uh, the daemon. So let's go ahead and uh, let's see. We're in temp, so I'm gonna CD out of that. And we can CD right into the root directory. And there we go. So that is the manual exploitation method. All right, guys. So moving on to the Metasploit example, I'm going to open up a terminal and I'm going to run Metasploit. So that's MSF console. And just wait for that to load up. Now start by searching. So type in search dist cc and press enter. And you should get one result back. There we go. So that's exploit unix misc dist cc. And that is the dist cc daemon command execution. So that's exactly what we're looking for. So I'm going to select that by typing use zero. Zero because it's the first on the list. Press enter. There we go. It selected it for us. So now let's type in show options. So we need to set the R host, which is our uh, target IP address. In my case is Metasploitable's IP address, which is 10.0.0.89. So I'm going to set our host to 10.0.0.89. Press enter. Show options again, just to make sure it accepted it. There we go. Now we need to select a payload. So I'm going to type in show payloads to list the available payload options that we have. Let me zoom out again so you can see better. A little bit more. All right, so these are the payload options that we have to play around with. Um, in my experience, I did try the payload CMD Unix uh, reverse bash payload, and I didn't have much luck with it. So I did have luck with this open SSL payload. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that. Now, just because you select a payload and it doesn't work the first time doesn't mean that it won't work with a different payload. So go ahead and try a variety of different payloads and see what happens. I mean, don't give up because one didn't work. You know, you never know. <laughs> so I'm going to type in use or actually, I'm sorry. I'm going to type in set payload and then the number. So I'm going to be using this one right here. So that's payload eight and press enter. Okay, so you can see that I selected the payload, so I'm going to show options. Now, the only thing we have to do is just put in our L host. So that is our Kali Linux IP address. So our IP address would be, if you type in IPA, we are Ethernet 0, INET 10.0.0.60. So I'm going to set. L hosts to 10.0.0.0.60 and press enter. 
type in show options again. All right, so everything looks good. Let's go ahead and execute the script by typing run. So there we go. It's doing this little thing here. And there we go, command shell session one opened. So that would be us on port 444 connecting to Metasploitable on 45277. So if I type in who am I, we are Damon. And if I type in print working directory, we're in the temp folder. So let's do C CD LS. Let's see if we can navigate to the root folder. There we go. So we are inside the root folder of Metasploitable. So that is the Metasploit example of the dist CC vulnerability. All right, guys. So that is how you exploit the remote code execution vulnerability found in dist CC. So if you found this video useful, please like subscribe to my channel. Show your support and I'll see you next time.